It is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Have you had a screening? Oncologist at Sharp Bree Steely, Dr. Ann Muller is here. Good morning, doctor. Thank you for your time today. One in 10 women, one in 10 women ages 40 have never had a breast cancer screening. That's a lot. Why so many? That is really concerning. I think there's a lot of factors that might impact a woman's hesitation to go get their initial screening mammogram. Um, some women may not be educated to know about the importance of screening. Also, women may not be aware that as a preventative health measure, it is free under most health insurance plans. Um, and there just may be a lot of anxiety about the procedure itself. I share this with everybody in hopes that it might motivate them to do the same thing. For my birthday every year, that's mm -hmm. the gift that I, I do for myself as I book the screening, the mammogram, all of it right around my birthday. Uh, you know, as a mom and, and I want to be alive, I want to stay alive. That's amazing. Yeah, just having that reminder every year and prioritizing your health yeah, as well. Yeah, and you have to do that. When you talk about screenings, there's a reason why you do them, right? Yes. Screening mammograms are so important because they have the ability to detect breast cancer when it is in its earliest stages, when it's still localized before it's spread to the lymph nodes under the arm, and when it's curable, and when treatments might be less extensive um, to achieve that cure. For women who have localized breast cancer when it's diagnosed in its earliest stages, survival at five years is well over 95%. And that has changed, doctor, over the years, right? You've, you've learned so much. There's been so many advances in the, in the medical world when it comes to cancer and breast cancer. If you catch it early, you know, there's a really good chance that you can get a handle on it. Absolutely. The treatments have gotten better and more sophisticated, um, but it's also important to remember that breast cancer is still the number two cancer-related cause of death in women in the United States. What are the requirements right now or the guidelines I know that this sometimes changed was it 45 or was that for something else you have to certain age that you start doing it, and then how often are you supposed to be doing it? yes so the American Cancer Society and the American Society of Clinical Oncology both agree that screening mammograms should start at age 40, 40 and they should be old. every year some societies um, recommend every two years but as an oncologist we believe that every year is really important and that's for women who are of average risk and so based on family history previous um, biopsies or genetics women may qualify for high-risk breast screening and should discuss that with their doctor I know for some and I've talked to some of these women they're worried that it hurts or it's uncomfortable um, you know I, I do this every single year and, and it really is not yeah, no, we try to make it as painless and as easy as possible. And they even have like the, is it the 3D, the 4D, like all different, uh, different ways to do it now? Absolutely. So there's, at, at least at Sharp, 3D technology is standard of care for all screening mammograms. So it's easier for women and it's allowing a better visualization to, and uh, increasing chances of detection early. When I um, used to go to the OBGYN for many, many years, I'd always get that pamphlet and that talk to do self examinations. Is that something that women should still be doing? I think that familiarity with your breasts is important so that you can be aware if there's a change. So warning signs for breast cancer might not just be a lump, um, but sometimes it can manifest as thickening of the skin, redness, a rash, or simply changes to the contour of the breast. Um, so having familiarity um, can be really important to bring it to the attention of your doctor because we've talked about screening, but if there's a symptom of concern, um, there might be an option to do a more detailed mammogram with some additional views of the area of concern and perhaps an ultrasound as well. I love it. Uh, Dr. Moeller, thank you for stopping by and sharing and, and make sure you go out and you definitely get screened. Prevention is the key. Absolutely. Thank you, thank Dr. You so much.